Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at how to use the adjustable backstay. Some sailboats, and especially racing boats, have an adjustable backstay where you can bend the mast to flatten the main in heavier weather. Anytime you use the backstay to adjust your mainsail, three specific things happen. The middle of the mast pushes forward, which increases the distance across the sail from luff to leach. Notice the horizontal arrow in the illustration, and you can see how the distance from luff to leach has increased. This is like similar to your mainsail outhaul. When you tension the outhaul, it flattens the lower part of your mainsail. The distance between the head and tack of the sail becomes shorter, and this causes the luff to lose tension. You might notice slight puckers along the mainsail luff at each slug or slide. Note also in the illustration, the distance between the head and clue has become shorter. This produces more twist in the leech, and it might be more twist than you really want. Of these three factors, the first factor achieves the primary goal, which is to flatten and depower the mainsail. After you adjust the backstay, tighten the halyard at Cunningham to remove any luff wrinkles, and trim the main sheet and boom vang to remove excessive twist from the mainsail leech. Before you straighten the mast again, you must remember to ease the hired Cunningham main sheet and vane. That's because the sail has been shortened. Create a small sign to post near the mast and adjustable backstay to alert the crew on the steps to take before they ease the backstay. Customize the wording on the sign for your specific sailboat. Now you know how the adjustable backstay helps shape your mainsail for rough weather sailing. Use easy tips like these for safer sailing on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.